got a clear face. We're about to get into some makeup. Last night I went to Target, I'm kind of doing my little retail therapy. I had to pick up a few stuff, but obviously had a stroll on by by the beauty aisle. And I came across Jason Wu. And I, honestly, I swear I was not interested until I went to Target and I saw it and I was like, ooh, this looks kind of cute, kind of up our alley over here, like really natural and, you know, cream type of products. They had a really exciting brow product that I wanted to try as well. So I really did grab the products that I felt like we could potentially fall in love with. I don't have any of the complexion products because my shade was actually sold out and the primers were just like not giving it to me. It just seemed really mediocre. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my face and we'll jump right into the Jason Wu products. This is the Bush. <laughs> this is the Bush, you guys. The Bush Brow Shaper Soap. If you guys have already seen my video on like the best brow products to use, you already know that I really like this kind of wax and like soap brow type of look. So like the Patrick Ta, the soap brows, like that's right up my alley. Ooh, and this does remind me kind of like the iconic London. And I'm gonna use this brush that is actually by Soap Brows that I love. I'm gonna really get in there. So yeah, it works really similar to the iconic London. I feel like it's very, very comparable. Look at how it's, that is this brow. And this is not brushed or anything. You can even like roll them like this. You really want like a laminated brow effect. I like to brush mine down or else I look Oscar the Grouch or like a Muppet. It's kind of nice that you can get this at Target, you know? And it's a fair price, I would say. Okay, so the other product that I got in the brow category that I was really intrigued, you know me, I'm like blush, lips, and and brows. That's like the products that I really gravitate towards. And glow, some highlight, you know? So that's what we grabbed. This is called Groomed by Mr. Wu. It's a micro brow pencil and I actually got the shade, let me see, what was it? Sublime, I guess? Is it Sublime? I don't know. And it actually is infused with vitamin B5, I guess for conditioning it says. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that these are nice and set, I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in. Super light, I actually went lighter. They're like, the, I got like the medium tone. You know how like Hung Van Gogh, if you guys watch his channel, he always says go a little bit lighter than your brow. You don't want it to look like so dense. So that's what I did, but I don't know. I think because mine do have scars, it's reading a little weird. I should have just grabbed the dark one. I feel like it's hard to get the pigment. I like to go so lightly, that way I don't have like such harsh thick marks, you know? So you get those like really thin feather kind of marks. It's like you really have to press. I don't know if you guys can kind of get a feel of how much pressure I was putting, but you just really have to put a lot of pressure. And there was a few different brow products. I usually like a micro pencil, that's why I grabbed this one. But I'm kind of curious, maybe I'd like the like fill-in powder a little bit better. I was so close to getting it. So now I'm gonna move on to this guy that's called Hot Fluff. This is for your lips, eyes, and cheeks. I'm gonna do like a little monochrome matchy-matchy look. I'm actually just gonna apply this one to my eyes and my cheeks because I did buy a lip cream for my lips and a lip liner. So this one is in the shade three. Okay, so it's not, oh, cannoli. Oh yeah, this was 01, you guys. I thought I grabbed the medium one, but now that I'm seeing it, this is actually light. So this one is cannoli, and I just love this color. I think the packaging is actually really chic and cute as well. I don't really know about the font of the Jason Wu. I don't know, something about that font I'm not crazy about, but. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this directly onto my cheeks, just so we have like a seamless finish. Very matte. I'm go right up here again. Just to deepen it, and I'm gonna use my fingers this time. My hands are so cold. I can't, my body literally cannot take the cold. I was like, you're kidding me that it's like 55 degrees and I'm literally a popsicle, like I can't handle it. But I feel like 
cold weather in LA just hits different. Like it'll be 30 in New York and I'm fine. And like 50 in LA, I'm just like, I don't know. It's a different, it's a different animal. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to that side, but that's really cute. I get on the cheeks. This color is really nice. Really easy to blend. Nice little pigmentation, but nothing that looks super harsh, I think. So like I said, you can also use this for your eyes. So I'm gonna apply it just directly. Just like a nice little wash. I think it keeps it so natural and soft and pretty. And I'm gonna go even right under here. Oh, that's pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Stay Vulnerable collection, like that vibe. It's just weird. Like now I don't, I wouldn't want to use this on my lips, you know? I wouldn't be able to apply it the same way. That's cute. Again, I feel like none of these products are really like revolutionary, anything like super exciting that I don't already have in my collection, but it is cute. I can't wait to get to the highlight. Should we just hop on there now or should we add some color to the lips? So the next thing that I'm gonna apply is the Stay In Line Lip Liner Pencil. This one is in the shade Moi. Tranquille. Oh no, sorry. Oh my god, I'm trying to say it in French. Bitch, stop. It's called Leave Me Alone. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh yes, I love these types. Okay, this is kind of reminds me of the ColourPop really creamy applicator. That's pretty. I want to get more colors. I, I, I like this. I already like it. <laughs> I want to get the other shades for sure. This, ooh, my lips are so dry. This winter weather. It's so, so nice. I really like this. Kind of almost reminds me a little bit of like the Pat McGrath in a sense. Um, and they had a lot of really good colors. Again, this one is in the shade Leave Me Alone. This, if that is not a Virgo name. To fill it in, oh man, I feel like this one does look a little, did I grab the wrong one? Oh, I think I did. It's cause they all kind of look the same and that Target that I went to was actually kind of messy, but this one is in the shade Honey Fluff, it's shade number one. It does look kind of pinky, but we'll see. Ooh, it's definitely giving me that Rare Beauty like lip souffle or um, the, oh my gosh, the Sunny's face. Pretty comfortable. I do feel like it emphasizes, you guys kind of saw how dry my lips were, so it does, it's a matte, um, it's not as creamy. I feel like it still kind of emphasizes whereas like the lip souffle from rare beauty It just completely makes it look almost airbrushed like all my little dry patches The other thing that I picked up from the line is the lip gloss and it ha does have a lip plumper I got the shade juicy. They had like a clear like a full clear one and then this shade Ooh, this looks so juicy Perfect name for it. So I'm gonna apply that Condition these lips. I don't want to go in. <laughs> Aesthetic problems. Oh, I fucked it up. I didn't even shoot it before. Mm -hmm. It's not sticky at all. But it's also not as like glossy, right? I don't know. I feel like because I love the Glossier lip gloss so much because it's so glossy and also not really sticky that's like my my standard now so everything else just kind of falls flat to that but definitely not sticky Ooh, i can kind of feel like tingling now though okay so while that kind of tingles and maybe takes effect makes my lips look bigger um hmm, kind of kind of liking it it's growing on me i'm gonna apply the opal stick look at this imagery you guys i almost didn't pick it up and then i turned it to the back and i saw this and i was like shit i think i need it <laughs> you know i love like this kind of glass skin look okay i'm actually really liking this just because it's like hurting my not hurting i don't know why i'm like obsessed with that little feeling in lip plumper it's like lip venom who remembers that by doo-wop goes in for more. I like the way it feels. Has me talking like this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this now. Ooh. Okay, so it is like an, iridesc an iridescent. Look at that. 
I'm gonna do a full C. And I'm just using the same, I love this brush. This is by e.l.f. actually, and it's a hoodie primer applicator, but I use it as like a multi brush. It's so good to blend foundation and everything. If you're picking up anything from Jason Wu, pick up this from e.l.f. as well. I'm sure it'll be like neighbors to the Jason Wu. It's not sticky at all, actually, like at all. I thought it was gonna be one of those like glossy type that I love. Don't get me wrong, I love, but it's not the most wearable. In terms of like, you'll start looking kind of greasy by our four or five doing your makeup. I don't know if I love this though. Ooh, I should not have put that on my nose. I like purple. <laughs> I wish they had other colors. I didn't see any other colors. Alien skin. That's gonna be like the next thing. Alien skin is in, even though we've been seeing these iridescents for years, but you know, or they're gonna say like moon skin. It went from like uh, strobing, remember back in the day to like I don't know, probably a few other iterations in between, but I'm just gonna jump to like glass skin, to dolphin skin. Next up, it's gonna be alien skin, or moon skin. Add some to the upper lip. It actually doesn't look bad in person. I thought it would look kind of crazy because it's so purpley, but it actually, for my skin tone at least, it does blend in kind of nice. I'm really pale right now though. I bet this would look gorgeous on dark skin though. I always love the way like pearlescent highlights look on deeper skin tones. It's so freaking beautiful. So yeah, that is all of the products that honestly I was interested in from picking up at Jason Wu. I'm sorry, you know if like brands send me, I really try to do my best of showing you every single thing that they send me since you know, I got it for free. Like that's kind of the whole point of PR in my opinion is, is like to really try it and, and be able to show everything because, um, you know, we do have the privilege of not paying for it. So these are the stuff that I was really excited about and I'm really, really pleased with it. I really hope they come out with different shades of this because it does give such a pretty sheen and it's not sticky like at all at all at all it just like blends so beautifully onto the skin so would definitely recommend it if you do like more of these like pearlescent kind of colors i think it looks really pretty on the eyes and it does it's not gonna crease on you you know so i really love this i just realized that i haven't put on any mascara but i'm not mad at it i'm like kind of into it you guys so this is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you found the most intriguing or if you have tried anything else from the Jason Wu line that I did not mention in this video, any shades that you wanna call out, definitely let us all know. We're all here for each other in our beauty addictions and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Ciao.